Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Sunday reset video. In today's video we're going to be doing some chores around the house, getting prepped for a new week and also getting some fun things done. So if you are starting your day like me here where you're getting some things going, haven't even put on my clothes yet, still in my jammies, go ahead and grab a cup of coffee or a tea and let's get right into it. In today's video, we're going to be taking care of some everyday chores like cleaning up my room and putting my house back together. My kitchen and living areas are just a disaster. Uh, and we're also gonna be working on some fun things like I got a new rug for my bedroom finally. I'm also going to be a fun doing a fun uh, DIY project on some terracotta pots that I purchased. And I'm gonna be putting together my anniversary gift from my husband, which is a beautiful glass terrarium for my plants. So lots of fun stuff in today's video. But like I said, I'm getting started by making my bed and I'm gonna be putting down my rug that um, I just purchased. And I did get it on Amazon. It is a faux Persian rug. So it looks like a woven rug, but it's not. Um, it was very affordable. I think I paid $200 for it. And I was looking for a nice warm, um, complimentary rug that would match the vibe that I have going on in this room. This room is a little less farmhouse, definitely just more of a, a warm toned kind of boho feel, very natural colors. And I feel like I was able to do that. So I'm gonna show you that rug here in just a few minutes. But before I put that down, I wanted to get this room clean up. I don't know about you guys, my master bedroom seems to be like a catch all for everything. Uh, especially our nightstands and so I'm just getting that cleaned up here I always have like bobby pins and earrings um, from when I take them out of my hair and every and, and my earrings out at night when I go to bed uh, which is what I'm cleaning up here and then I have like that whole array of nighttime products I've got like my face cream I've got heel cream hand lotion overnight lotion um, I also have some hyaluronic acid lotion that I put on every day. Like I just have a lot of products. I'm a girl that loves products. So I'm just kind of putting those all, you know, nicer looking over here. I should probably get some kind of something for them. I don't have a drawer, so they live there on the counter. And then that's my Scentsy flower. So it has a scent in it, uh, the scent Luna, which I love. And then I also kind of keep some of my YouTube things here in my room because sometimes I edit while I'm sitting in my bed, which is what I'm doing right now. And sometimes I edit in the guest room at the desk. So it just depends. So I try to keep things in both places like that lap desk that I use. Um, and then just putting everything else away. Then I'm gonna get Danny's side put together and then we'll get the rug down. This week has been absolutely crazy. My poor family has been hit with a little bit of like a head cold. We thought it was allergies at the beginning, but it just kind of trickled through the family. So we're all on the mend, but as you can tell by my voice, we're still a little bit congested. I swear to you, I feel like once things kind of opened back up and some restrictions were lifted, we all had to get used to each other's germs again, and it's just um, taking a toll on us. Working in a school, that tends to happen. So my house did kind of fall apart while uh, we were sick, which you're gonna see when I make my way out into 
the great room and you see the kitchen and everything everything just kind of fell apart but it was fine I'm sitting here staring at like three loads of laundry that need to be folded um, which can't see you know in this video because they weren't there but um, you know things kind of fall apart when you don't feel well so slowly putting the pieces back together and I appreciate the grace um, you know while we mend and you have to hear this nasally voice I apologize but hopefully we will you know all be used to each other's germs again and we can just stop getting sick for a while and now it's time to put down the rug now I purchased this 7x10 rug like I said on Amazon I will have it linked for you down below if you're interested in a rug. Um, I employed my daughter to help me put this down because Danny and the boys were, um, they were outside practicing soccer. So she helped me out here. We, I had to speed this up to like 10 speed you guys because we could not stop laughing. We were laughing so hard. I know it's probably hard to tell in this video, but we were just dying. It was so funny. And, um, we have a really good time together. So she's helping me to get this rug situated. I went with a seven by 10 because I wanted to be able to step out of my bed and onto the rug instead of the cold floor. So I wear my slippers to my bed. <laughs> That's my daughter, by the way. Her name is Michaela. She is uh, 15. But um, anyway, I wear my slippers to my bed and you know, then I get in my bed and I take them off and I put them back on before I go walk on the cold floor. So what we're doing here is we're making sure that the rug is even on both sides and we, we just get messing with each other. So we finally whipped out the tape measure to make sure that it actually was equal and it was. Um, and now I'm using some of this double-sided rug tape. I've used this in previous videos. I swear by this stuff. It does hold your rug down. Um, you could get like a non-slip, um, you know, rubber piece to put underneath, but this is more for the corners so that the corners don't get lifted every time, you know, your foot catches on them or walks over them. Um, that was really important. I, I hate that feeling and so I just use a little bit of this double-sided rug tape and you just put it underneath and kind of smooth it out with this special tool here you know my foot and uh, it really does work so I've got it on all the rugs in my house and I, I feel like it makes a huge difference so I am living for this rug I love the colors I feel like it has added so much warmth to our space and it's really coming together I I'm loving our master bedroom. I still have lots of plans for this room. Still on the hunt for new nightstands. I have big plans for an accent wall behind my bed, but that's got to be a summer project. And I'm also going to be working on renovating some furniture that I have in here. So stay tuned. But here is the rug. Guinness clearly approves and I love the way that it looks. So now we are moving outside onto my front porch it has been very hot where i live i'm in new england and it has been unseasonably hot and um, my i've just had to water my plants every single day so i try to go out and water my outside plants every single evening just give them a little drink sometimes a little more if they need it um, and my porch actually doesn't look like this anymore i actually just added a whole bunch of new flowers and as you can see with my ferns in this in this um, shot right here, they were really getting sunburnt, and so I ended up moving them to my back porch where they are not getting pummeled by that afternoon sun anymore. So now we're moving inside. I'm getting started here in the living room. I did end up changing my pants because I had made some food for the kids and I got some stuff on my pants. So I ended up changing my jeans, but um, as you can see, I was trying to fix the blanket on the couch, but Charlie did not want to move, so I ended up just covering her. Um, but like I said, because everybody was sick, I had spent some time Lysoling everything and taking you know, the Lysol wipes and cleaning them off. And there's Charlie coming out of the blanket. This is why the blankets never stay folded on my couch. Like between my kids and the dog, I always try to have her blanket which has little paws all over it. I try to keep it on the couch, kind of just laying there. So that way she can get underneath it if she wants to. But 
she's never satisfied. She can't figure out what she wants to do. And this striped rug, um, rug, that's not a rug, that's a blanket, but that's the one that I used out on my deck. Um, but it has been so like muggy in the morning that I've been bringing it inside so that it doesn't get wet. But you guys, we did get new furniture for the deck. The furniture, I think I've mentioned this um, in my previous Sunday reset, but the furniture that we purchased was gorgeous, absolutely stunning. It was so uncomfortable, you guys. It beautiful. And um, I mean, we could sit on it, but not for long periods of time. So we did go with another option that we were looking at. It is also Better Homes and Gardens. I'm going to show it in next week's Sunday Reset. We are thrilled with it. So I'll give you an update on that here shortly. But um, in the meantime, I'm just going to continue putting the living room back together. I'm going to take some time to dust off this sideboard. I love this piece. I've discussed this in previous videos. This is a vintage piece that I purchased on... Facebook Marketplace and I gave it a little facelift with some milk paint in the color, color linen. It is my favorite piece of furniture I've ever owned. I just love this piece. So, and I'm now on the hunt for a vintage stationary desk for my um, guest room slash office. So hopefully I can score another beautiful piece like this. I just, this piece with the scalloped bottom and everything, it's just gorgeous. So going to take some time to get this cleaned off. I'm using the Method Wood Cleaner. I love it. It smells so good. I feel like it kind of has an almond scent to it. I don't know. It just makes everything smell good and really, you know, shine really nicely. So now I'm going to put in a new wallflower. I am trying a new scent. It's called Tiki Beach, kind of coconutty, and I love it. It smells really good. I really love Endless Weekend too. If you guys have ever smelled that one, that one's in my bedroom right now smells so good but this one is one of their new summer scents and I just popped that in it smells so good I love to have wallflowers like that and things that smell really good it just makes the house feel really cozy Next on my to-do list is putting together this terrarium that I got for an anniversary gift from my husband. We just celebrated 16 years. I mentioned that in a previous video. And he gifted me this super cute black um, and metal and glass terrarium from Walmart. It's from the Better Homes and Gardens line. Um, I will say that I basically told him exactly what to buy. I took a picture, told him what aisle it was in. <laughs> everything I might as well have just bought it myself but I really wanted it so um, I will say that it's not as tall as I thought it was going to be I definitely didn't read the measurements so it's not like it was false advertising I just didn't read the measurements but in the picture it definitely looks a lot taller I thought it would have been taller um, but it's still really really sweet and I think it's designed to have like succulents in it but I had initially planned to house my herbs here but where I put it they're just not going to get enough sun so I ended up moving some succulents here so you're gonna have to stay tuned and see how it ends up coming out it's just absolutely beautiful I love it thanks hubby
here it is all put together. We're gonna get it over into this little section right here. This is that little piece of awkward wall between like my windows in my dining room and then the door that goes out to my deck. So as you can see in this video, I don't have any deck furniture because we were waiting for it to arrive. Otherwise I would have shown it to you in this video, but it has since arrived. But this little terrarium is so cute, isn't it? It's got that little copper metal plate that goes in the bottom and it has a little shelf on the bottom to put some decor on it. So it's really, really beautiful. Like I said, it's just a little bit small, but absolutely nothing wrong with it. It is so pretty and you're going to see in this shot that I'm going to put my herbs in here. They don't end up staying. I do end up moving things around, but for the meantime, I stick the herbs in here. I've got some dill, some parsley, and some cilantro. Um, but I was just concerned they weren't going to get enough sun. So they do end up moving. But um, right now I'm just giving them a little bit of water. They looked a little droopy. And then you put the terrarium top back on. It does snap on. I just kind of leave it open like that. And then down here on the bottom, I had placed a little fern that also got a little sunburn outside. Um, and then this sweet little miniature watering can that I had outside on my potting table. And I just think this is super sweet. I did end up changing that plant. Uh, I moved the fern and I put a pothos, but um, still has the same beautiful look. Next up, we're gonna get started on some DIY. I am going to be working on aging these beautiful terracotta pots. So I purchased these at Walmart. They were super affordable, um, probably for somewhere around $2 and my intention was to put my herbs inside of these pots, but I didn't want that super orangey terracotta look. So what I'm doing is something I saw on Instagram from Liz Marie. Um, if you do not follow her, she's fantastic. I will have her linked for you down below, um, but I found it on her blog. I swear I saw it on Instagram. It might've been a story. Um, but it is on her blog. I'll have that linked for you, like I said, down below. But basically what you do is you are going to mix um, equal parts garden lime and water. Now garden lime is something you can find at your local gardening store. It's what you use in your garden to you know, adjust the alkalinity of your dirt. So if you're changing the color of a hydrangea or something, um, but it dries super duper fast and so you can make it like a little bit thicker if you want to give your pots a little bit of texture or you can make it a little creamier like I did here just to kind of change the color and add a little bit of texture. Um, and then all you do is paint it on. Now she suggests using a foam brush, but I didn't have any and so I am using just a regular paintbrush. But this was so incredibly easy. In her video, I think she did like three coats I ended up only doing one and I love how they turned out I love them so much that I've bought more terracotta pots and I plan on doing this again I actually bought the foam pieces so I'm hoping that makes a little bit of a difference and I think I might do them a little bit thicker um, but it's just super super simple they dry so fast you'll see them drying as I'm going and they look so pretty and um, they just look, you know, aged and like they're kind of falling apart a little bit. You could probably rub some dirt on here if you wanted to give them an even more um, aged look or used look, but I think they're super pretty just the way they are. And the intention is to, like I said, put um, the my herbs here. So that's my plan. Speaking of the herbs, we're now going to be moving my succulents here into the terrarium and moving the herbs out. This is just not going to be enough light for these herbs. They need a lot of sun, and so I'm moving them out. My plan is to eventually move these outside, I think, maybe, maybe not, actually. They do perfectly fine here in the windowsill, but I have these succulents that actually belong to my three little boys. Um, we picked these up at a nearby farm, went with my neighbor, and I think I'm going to paint those uh, terracotta pots as well. Um, the really kind gentleman at the farm, he repotted those succulents into those um, terracotta pots for me. So 
I want to paint them because I like them I just don't like the color so now I'm just cleaning off this windowsill where the terracotta pots were with the succulents and we're gonna move those freshly painted pots over here to this windowsill you're gonna get a little peek at how beautiful they are like I said this was super simple I didn't really paint the inside very much because I didn't feel like it was necessary once the plants are in there you can't really tell but you could paint it if you wanted to but look at how sweet these are they just look so pretty such an easy project and I still have garden lime left over so I feel like at this point I need to paint all of the terracotta pots. Next up we are moving into my dining room. Just going to work on cleaning off my dining room table. This table gets used multiple times in a day when we're home. So I shouldn't say multiple times. It's literally used all day long. So just have to clean this off and as you can see my boys have meandered their way into the living room they're watching the loud house if you've ever watched that um i think it's the loud house on and maybe it's not they typically watch that though oh yeah it looks like the loud house it's a tell a cartoon on nickelodeon about a little boy who lives in a house full of sisters and talks about pushing and shoving and that's how they show their love and we just joke because that's totally how it is in our house with four boys and one girl and so when the theme song of this show comes on we joke and we insert our last name it's pretty funny so there in the background I get asked a lot about where my kids are when I'm cleaning or how I keep my house so clean honestly you guys I just clean around them when I'm filming they're probably in the background <laughs> Um, and here is an embarrassing look at my kitchen. This is actually not even as bad as it was because Danny had gotten started with picking up for me, but it was terrible. So I'm going to get started here in my kitchen. I'm going to empty the dishwasher. I'm going to reload it. I'm going to wash the dishes. We're going to get the kitchen put back together. I ended up saving the kitchen for the very last thing today because I knew that no matter what, I wouldn't go to bed with the kitchen a mess. Um, I knew that I would get this part clean, so I wanted to get everything else done first. That's something I try to do when I have stuff I don't want to get done, like cleaning up my bedroom. <laughs> I try really hard to get that stuff done before the stuff that I don't mind doing as much. I like cleaning the kitchen, so I usually save this for the last. Or it is my domino chore if I'm feeling like I really need to get motivated. I'll start with this because it is the biggest you know space in the house and you see it from everywhere but today I saved it for the end so I'm gonna stop chattering so much for a little while you can just enjoy watching this kitchen come back to life and I'll check back in with you in just a little bit
favorite part about cleaning the kitchen is definitely wiping down the counters. I think it's for a number of reasons. Number one, I think I like wiping them down because that motion of wiping things is very satisfying. However, I also think I like it because I know I'm at the end. I save the wiping of the cabinets until every single thing is done. Then I can wipe, not the cabinets, the counters, I'm sorry. Then I can just wipe it down and I know it's clean. So in this shot, I'm actually using um, a, um, a sponge, excuse me, I couldn't think of the word. It is a little bit of a scrubbier sponge and that's the one that I save just for my countertops. I don't wash dishes with that. And I don't always use it, but they were really, really dirty and grimy. And so they needed a little bit of an extra scrub. And so that's why I'm using it in this, um, in this instance. And then I'm going back and drying them with some paper towels, but normally I'll just wipe them down with paper towels. I try not to use too much um, stuff on them because they scratch very easily, but sometimes they just need a little bit of an extra scrub. And I definitely do not like wiping down the counters with the same, um, sponge that I wash dishes with so that's why I have this separate one they're different colors different consistencies so they're easy to keep track of and then like I said I just dry them with the paper towel and so happy to have this kitchen back in order That is it for this Sunday reset video, my friends. I am so glad that you chose to spend a little bit of your Sunday with me. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I would love to have you subscribe to come back for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I'll see you then. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.